Hello students, in this video, we will be learning about statistical averages of random variables. First, I will discuss about the continuous random variables. Later, we will get back to the discrete random variables. Clear? Yeah. Coming to the statistical averages, what is the statistical averages we are having, sir? Coming to the statistical averages, the first one itself is called mean. What is the first one is called mean? Mean is denoted with M1. What is M1, sir? M1 is nothing but expected value of X. M1 is nothing but expected value of X. Huh. Are also denoted with X bar also. What is this formula? Integral minus infinite to plus infinite x into f of x dx, where f of x is called probability density function. Where f of x is called probability density function. Huh. This mean itself also called average value or also called DC value of a random variable. And this is also called, for, uh, this mean is also called first moment or first order moment. So anyhow, finally, what is the mean formula, sir? Integral minus infinite plus infinite x into f of x dx, where f of x is the probability density function. The second one is mean square value. Mean square value is denoted with M2 is nothing but expected value of X square. What is the expected value of X square? Integral minus infinite to plus infinite X square into F of X dx. X square into F of X dx. Huh. What is the mean square value number of times I told mean square means power of a random variable or power of a signal. Of course, a random variable means power of a random variable. Of course, this is also called second and second order moment. The formula for power of a random variable number of times we got. Power of a random variable is nothing but integral minus infinite plus infinite x square into f of x dx. That is called power. Next, the third parameter is variance. What is variance is denoted with a sigma square, sir. Variance is denoted with a sigma square. Variance is nothing but expected value of expected value of x minus x bar whole square. x minus x bar whole square. Are you getting my point? Now, let's analyze this. E of a minus b whole square. a square. You can also write separately, no problem. x bar. a square minus b square minus 2ab. So, 2 into a into b, e of x into e of x bar. What is e of x square is called m2 plus x square outside, remaining is 1 because x bar, x bar square is outside, because x bar is a mean, mean is a constant, right outside, remaining is 1, expected value of 1 is 1, minus 2, e of x is itself is called x bar, x bar you can write outside, Remaining e of x is 1. Then this is nothing but m2 minus x bar square. That is nothing but m2 minus m1 square. x bar means mean, so that's why I written outside. So in the expectation constant, you can write outside. So finally, simply if you remember, variance is nothing but m2 minus m1 square. m2 minus m1 square is called variance. Huh. What is m2, sir? Power. 
what is m1 sir dc value power minus dc value square so dc power power minus total power minus dc power total power minus dc power remaining is ac power so variance is called ac power of a random variable next what is the standard deviation standard deviation sigma standard deviation sigma is nothing but root of variance root of ac power itself is called rms value so rms value of a random variable rms value of a random variable is called standard deviation ac power is called variance dc value is called mean power is called mean square value any doubt 